Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. I'm here with Miranda. Miranda. She has to have her toe amputated today. She actually has a broken back toe. So she's getting time out in the yard really quick to get some of her crazy out as she leaves me. Oh, big stretches. Miranda, what a good girl. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to have a toe amputated today, so she's gonna go in for surgery, which means no food this morning for you. I'm sorry, I know. But we're gonna check in as we're on our way to the vet, and then we're gonna say hi to our vet too, and get an explanation um, of exactly what's wrong with her toe. And we'll then show you her when she gets done. Miranda, I know, she can't be very excited about this at all. She is still up for adoption, you guys. We've had her for over a year now, I believe. And she is an awesome girl. She'd love to be the only dog in the household, but she can walk by other dogs. Oh, we're watching birds. She is potty trained great trained a wiggle butt loves all the people she's got very big ears and a very cute face hi but she'd like not to be bothered by me right now as there's birds <laughs> all right we're gonna see you guys in a little bit we'll be headed off to the vet soon all right, we are at the vet. We're gonna have a little pep talk before we go in, right? Miranda, you're gonna do the best and you're gonna be the bestest girl, right? Are you ready for your surgery? I know, it's not fun. We're gonna go in and we're gonna get you checked in. Okay, we'll see you later. You ready? Okay, we're here at Liberty Animal Hospital and Miranda is done with her surgery. I dropped her off this morning. So we are gonna talk to Dr. Aris who did her surgery and look at her x-rays and kind of have him explain what happened and what he did for surgery and then what we're looking at for recovery for her. So I will pass it off to Dr. Aris. Hello. Hello, well, hello. All, All right. right. So, uh, Miranda presented, I would say about six weeks ago with uh, uh, a lameness uh, on that right rear leg and on initial x-rays we saw that one of the toe was broken yeah everything is back okay so um it's like a little split here uh slightly displaced and since she was still really young i was hoping to uh, not do anything invasive and see if it will it will heal it come back together because we were still about a year old uh, and young dogs heal very easily and fast. So I uh, put a bandage on, a splint actually, and I took x-rays uh, three to four weeks later, but it did not seem to want to heal on its own. So uh, four weeks later, this is what I have. Uh, the, the body is trying to heal it, but because it's not uh, stabilized, uh, this would not come together. And this is a position where it, it's really difficult to like go in and put a pin to kind of stabilize it. Uh, you probably cause more damage uh, than help. So okay. uh, after we saw this uh, not really coming together, we decided to go in and uh, cut the toe off. So the plan was to go in and remove uh, the toe at this intersection right here. So uh, this is what we did today, uh, went in, took it off. And what I really uh, uh, did is try to kind of leave the the foot pad underneath for a little cushioning so this actually took a little longer uh, about an hour uh, so I trimmed this off completely and then at the end this is what we have I'm gonna zoom this so you can see how clean that looks oh, yeah, look uh, that. so uh, just kind of dislocated that joint and then removed the broken toe uh, put a light bandage on I will recheck that uh, in two to three days 
and decide whether I need to put another bandage on because things like this will heal a lot faster if it's nice and dry. Downside of the bandage is if it, if it gets wet or if it's moist, it's gonna take a little longer to heal. Uh, but if you leave it open, dog can chew it off too, you know. So it's one of those things we'll just kind of manage uh, on a day to day and then see what happens. But for now, get an e color on, uh, keep the bandage on, make sure it doesn't get wet or anything like that, and then we'll see. But I'm, I'm hoping that I'll take the bandage off in mm -hmm. three days and not put anything on and just keep the e color on. Okay. Um, and then uh, and then we'll check three weeks later. Okay. And do you think that she'll she'll learn to walk just fine on that without yeah. a toe? Yeah. Yeah. She'll she'll walk just fine. They'll do just fine on three legs anyway. So. Right. Uh, but with uh, this broken toe being removed, she'll be a lot more comfortable. Absolutely. She'll be actually back to herself. So. Okay. Good. So she should be able to resume all, you know, uh, running and jumping and whatever she wants to yeah. do later. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, she'll be back to herself and. Uh, uh, she can actually enjoy a nice new home if she if she if she needs a home. Right, so, she's yeah. looking. We're still looking for that perfect home for her. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, we will go and grab her, and then uh, we'll head home. Thank you, Dr. Aris. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Look at that sad face. Miranda does sometimes not do super well with anesthesia, so she's probably feeling it a little bit. But we're gonna get her all leashed up. Look at that little bandage oh, yeah. back there and we will take her home. All right, we're gonna do a quick update on Miranda. We're at the vet, and as you can see, her bandage is off. And it's currently in a whole bunch of different pieces because somebody figured out how to get her foot around her cone and chew on it. And I'm gonna spare you the close-up details of it because it's gross and nasty. Um, but we're back at the vet to get it all fixed up again and probably a bigger cone. All right, crazy girl Miranda. Hey, I know you're sad. Aren't you sad about it? <laughs> Crazy girl, I tell you what. Happy Monday, everybody. I just wanted to check in and tell you guys how Miranda was doing. I know it's a little bright out there, so hopefully she is not in too much of a shadow. Since we last checked in, she chewed off her bandage. They definitely had to go in there and suture her back up. But for the last couple of days, she has been doing much better. We got her a bigger cone. We put some no chew bandage on there and she's not super happy about this cone situation. But every time that we have taken it off, she's been a little bit more interested in that bandage. So we are just trying to keep her from um, chewing on those stitches. <laughs> you smiley girl, yeah. Um, but, she is gonna get another bandage change in the next couple of days, and hopefully we can keep her on the road to recovery. I just wanted to wrap up our little video on Miranda with she needs to find the best home ever. This girl is amazing. She's goofy and funny and deserves a family to go home with. She just does not want to be with other dogs so if you guys know somebody or you're that person head to our website and come set up a visit with Miranda because we would love to find this girl a new home as she's wagging her tail back there <laughs> even with a big old cone on you're still happy huh yes but if anything changes we'll let you know Otherwise, she's on the road to recovery. And she's one special girl. Somebody's gonna be one lucky person when they finally adopt her. All right, Miranda. Should we tell everybody to have the best week? And we'll probably see them in a couple of days with a new vlog with something else that we do, right? The adventure never stops. All right, you guys, have the best day. And we'll see you next time. Alright. 
we're gonna do a quick update on Miranda.